everybody, this is Justin here. I knew that I last video I talked about that <coughs> I wanted to talk about a confrontation I had in, in Ikebukuro in Tokyo a couple years ago, but instead I want to use this day, August 17th, 2014, to commemorate a special anniversary, um, a, a special anniversary to me. And that um, today is, this is the fifth anniversary that I set foot and moved here to Japan. And since then, I've lived in, I started out in Kagawa and Ehime and Shikoku, then I lived in Hiroshima, then I lived in Niigata, then I lived in um, Saitama, and now I'm here in Tochigi. So yeah, I've lived in six prefectures since I came here in Japan, and it's been five years, and it's been a crazy ride here and there. There's been good memories, bad memories, but overall, um, I wouldn't change anything. Well, maybe I'd change some things, but that's another story for another time. Oh, shit, an ambulance just passed by. But anyway, so yeah, um, I really enjoyed my past five years here, seeing the country. I've also visited Osaka, Nagoya. Um, I've also visited Fukushima. I've also visited Nagano. I've also visited Fukuoka, Yamaguchi. So overall, I've had a very good experience um, seeing a majority of the country. And most Japanese people tell me that I've seen more of the country than a native Japanese people would. So. I'm glad that I've had this, these opportunities that I've had so far. And um, yes, I also know that um, other J vloggers have paved their way for people like me and their vlogs prior to me coming back here to Japan. Um, well, I lived here in 2006 for a brief period of time, and then I had to go home due to personal reasons, um, reasons I wish to keep personal. But I knew one day I'd come back here, and two and a half years later in 2009, um, I came back. So yeah. Um, there's been so much that I've done here, so much I've experienced. Um, it's just so hard to put all these five years into this um, one video. So yeah, uh, for those of you who want to come to Japan, um, be sure to check out other J vloggers and watch you to come here. Of course, the gateway to come here is just English teaching. And depending on your qualifications, your Japanese skills, your background, um, naturally you can move on to other things. Um, I know that um, some people say, um, some people don't like the English teaching job or they grow out of it. I understand that. Um, at one point, um, at my previous job, I was really being burnt out. Um, the school that I was working at, it just wasn't for me. And I really came this, this close to quitting teaching and finding a new job altogether. But then I found this new job. At the same time, my current job found me. And the things that frustrates you working in the ALT industry, um, when you come to a private school, um, a private high school where I now teach at, like all those frustrations are now gone and you have more creative freedom to do what you want. Um, you have no restrictions. But of course there are some things that come with a job, like I have a whole new class, I have to do parent-teacher conferences, I have to actively participate in meetings. Um, so you do have more of the responsibilities of a Japanese teacher and I feel that what I've done has really improved me um, in my profession, my communication skills, um, understanding the culture, understanding the, the whole bureau bureaucracy bullshit that just comes with working here in Japan. So yeah, um, I'm glad that I've really reached a really high point in my career so far in Japan and I've achieved um, a majority of my goals of what I wanted to do here So um, within five years, so I'm really proud of myself. Um, as for my future plans, um, maybe I won't teach forever, maybe I will, like um, Tino, like um, Victor, Give Me a Flickman, and Mexican Samurai, their respective YouTube names. Uh, they now have their own businesses. Maybe I'll start my own business, I don't know. But um, at this point, I really love my job. I really love teaching at, um, at a private high school. And maybe one day, um, I say the very, very pinnacle of my career could either be start my own business or um, work at in HR training ALTs or training native English teachers. So hopefully my experiences and my achievements can pave me to those kinds of um, career goals. But I also want to work as a translator. I also want to pass the level one of the Japanese language proficiency test. So there's a lot of things I want to do and, um, and I really want to do them. And it's kind of funny that since I came here to Japan, um, even though my YouTube um, creative um, ideas came from reviewing Japanese animation, um, it's not that I've lost interest in it altogether, it's just that I don't really watch it as actively as I would. I mean, when I, in my first two and a half years here, I very, 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 very rarely watched it, but most of the um, anime I tend to watch is just at the theaters. Shit, is there an accent something? But anyway, yeah, that's all I gotta say about that, and 
maybe I'll be somewhere in the next few months or the next few years. So I don't know. So thank you for watching.